What up, Jodesters? I just got home from work, and um, I haven't seen this trailer yet. It is the new Marder Tolton fucking update that happens in a week. And I'm pretty much ready for it. We've all been ready for, what, since February? It, February, I think, 8th is when Firebase Z come, came out. And it's just, it's just like, we need a new round-based fucking map. So, to show how fucking sad I am for how long we had to wait for a round-based map, I got myself alcohol so I can drown my sorrows in this, inside this large can once it's empty. Is it gonna be good? I hope so. I really fucking hope so. We've waited... What is it? March, April, May, June... Yeah, that's five months. That's five fucking months. Anyways, let's watch this. <laughs> So like 90 different fucking things just happen. Like it's the first eight seconds. They've like shoved like 15 dildos up my ass and took it right back out immediately. I'm now bleeding. Everything and everyone. <laughs> I can't wait for when we actually get into the game for that map. And that's like the big, like one of the cutscenes. I can't wait. Until we get in the lobby with one of these guys that has Park's uh, skin from that anime bundle from a few weeks ago. I just cannot wait to see, like, there's a Park's... <laughs> ...can be corrupted. Even those close to you. I doubt you realize what she has done. The traitor is somewhere in Berlin. Destroy her army. What is happening here? Is this a satanic ritual? What? Didn't know this is full metal alchemist. Didn't know we were fucking going. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched that show. I fucking forgot, dude. All I remember is the first few episodes of fucking Brotherhood. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, this is depressing. Or your pilot will be bled dry. Oh, Raptor 1 still alive? I don't fucking know that. Okay. So he survived somehow. There's something in my teeth. If you'd like, if. Should I sell this on eBay? Whatever was in my mouth? We see these purple air. <laughs> We see these purple area of uh, what? We see these purple arrows everywhere on all of the maps now. I thought this was like a D machine thing, but apparently Cold War just has purple ass arrows everywhere. Cause uh, someone likes uh, My Little Pony a little too much and just really likes purple. Purple looks cool, but like, come on. Maybe it's like a Dark Aether thing, but it's still it's just like. I want to discover the map for myself. I don't want to be told where to go. I'm going to be honest. But it's not even that big of a deal. I just... <laughs> I feel like there should be different colors for each map to make it a little more unique. You have to get out of here now. Shit, you can zipline. You can fucking zipline, bro. I, we used to have a zipline here at home. Now you can do it. IRL? Jake, if your life is inside Call of Duty, it is IRL. I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. I, what time is it? Okay, so the buses, the buses are gonna be a trap for both you and the zombies. If, if these trains come by, 50-50 chance of you getting the Fucking shit run over. Also, the zombies are probably gonna die if you train them correctly and you get them through the train. I wonder if you get points from that. If you don't get points from that, that's kind of shitty. But it might be balanced, I don't know. You can probably get a shit ton of zombies in there without wasting any bullets and just fuck them up. Also, these trains are on fucking fire. These trains are literally fire. I'm Klaus. I am here for help. 
Klaus? Klaus, my man Klaus from the fucking armor stand is alive and well. Dude, that guy looks like C-3PO if he was hostile and that carried around an XM4. <laughs> he looks fucking dangerous. There's the Panzer. Oh look, this is the stock market. Green light. You better buy right now, dude. It's gonna be red light real soon. A portal has been opened. One that threatens to allow a long dead army. Dude, pack a punch is on fire, kinda like on transit, I believe it's town. The one that's like on fire on the on the fucking ground. Right here in the fire pit. There's an on fire fucking thing. Pack a punch. I'm so dumb. Pack a punch is on fire, and this one's on fire. This is sick. This is a sick fucking design right here. To reinfect our world. Hey, hold up. Is this the guy from Billy and Mandy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's his fucking name? It's Grim from Bill and Billy and Mandy. Bring it on. Hey, is this Overwatch? What the fuck is that fucking Wonder Weapon, dude? This thing has a planet revolving around it like it's the sun. It's, that's the pistol version. That looks pretty fun. I'm gonna be honest. But like, it looks like something you fucking buy in a DLC pack for Overwatch. Like, the design of it is very Overwatch, not very Call of Duty. Oh, shit. That is Warframe. That's Warframe right there. Hold on. Oh, you know what that looks like? That actually looks like, like a golden thunder gun. That actually kind of, you know what? That actually kind of looks sick. I kind of like this one a lot. Mill kick does what now? Oh, you say it kills the zombies when you buy a perk? Mill kick shoots the zombies. What? No, that's actually fucking. That's fucking rad. It's actually fucking super cool. I did not think they would do that. That's sick. I can imagine like the guns coming out of the holes in the side of the perk machine. And shooting all the zombies as soon as they come out. When there's zombies around you. Maybe that's like a self-defense system in the perk upgrade. Like when you upgrade the perk, I bet like it's like tier four or five. It's gotta be high tier. Because it seems like a self-defense system. I feel like it would be tier four and then tier five like makes it stronger. One of the things that Mule Kick needs to do to be a good perk, besides just uh, shooting the zombies around you, which is sick as fuck. I think Mule Kick needs to be able to allow more than one wonder weapon in your back pocket. Because currently you can't have the Reiki and the Ray Gun in uh, Outbreak. I don't know why anybody would play that mode, but whatever. But still, that would be sick. And maybe it's necessary to have the wonder weapon. To have all the fucking things with it. It's probably necessary to have Mule Kick, to have all four variants of it. I think the teaser had four. Oh, uh, it's just like right here. Oh, my neck. My fat neck, my fat rolls. Look at the fat rolls, bro. I'm fat as fuck. Hey, what the fuck is wrong with those zombies? Hold up. They got crystals all over them? Are those an outbreak or no? I don't remember those as an outbreak. Although I usually get bored halfway through level one, and I just fucking exfil and call it today. But I th that looks kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. They look like ruby zombies. I'm gonna call them ruby zombies. They're covered in rubies. <laughs> They're rubies, dude, from Legend of Zelda. Lamp that oil, oil, ropes, bombs. bombs you, want you want it? it? It's, it's yours, yours, my friend. As, as long, long as you have, have enough rubies. stop her 
And when the time comes, kill her. Okay, so I see a lot of YouTubers, especially, okay, not a lot, I don't know, but I saw Crazy Rabbit and Tim react to this. Neither one knew who she was. That's how much I don't, I don't think anybody really pays attention to the story. I sort of do. Like, I semi-care. I care enough to, like, slightly know about it. I don't care enough to be be putting forth the effort to tell you all about it, but I'll tell you right now. This is like uh, I forgot her name, but she was like she was in the Firebase Z Easter egg ending cutscene. Says something to uh, Peck, that's his name, and uh, I don't know. That's all I know about her. She apparently has, has allied herself with whatever's in the dark ether. Which is Grim from Billy and Mandy. So just call him Grim. And then all the zombies are either Billy or Mandy. Just make a. <laughs> if this game had like actual mod support, like VO3, like a workshop thing, it would be really funny because you could just turn every single zombie into Billy's and Mandy's and just have him just be him. And it would be the fucking. I would play that shit all day long just in spite of that fucking enemy. I'm not gonna lie. That's the Mountain Dew Totem fucking trailer. Two minutes. Pretty much showed me everything I needed to know, except if Kino's in there or not. Maybe they're trying to keep that a secret so that players can find out on their own and everybody can be fucking pumped. Maybe they're not expecting a lot of people to play this at the start so that when people find this out, it skyrockets the next day. So maybe that's what they're doing. But it better be in there, because if it's not, I'm quitting. Um, I'm getting tired already. Thanks for watching.